is in store here tonight. Hi, everybody. James Slavowski here for EA Sports. Game number six is set to go down. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Coachella Valley's looking to break out. Lynn's got it into offensive territory. Fires it on net. Makes the save. Colorado's got possession of the puck. The Eagles played along the boards. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. The Eagles take possession in the defensive end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Slides it on over to Tuff. The Firebirds have a hold of it in the defensive zone. A shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. The Firebirds win the draw. Feeds the puck to Schultz. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Moves it to the middle! He shuts down a great scoring chance there. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to 30. Scores! Says he taps it in on a second effort. Well, I just love this play, James. I mean, you take the initial shot, but you follow it up, and you still have the eyes to find the puck and put it on your stick, and then bury your chance. That's a great play all the way around. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds the back of the net on the second shot. The Eagles and their fans are buzzing right now. How about that? A quick strike just minutes into this one. Well, that quick strike gets them on their feet. And listen, when you're playing, you can feel that energy. You feed off it when your home crowd is cheering for you, especially when you're playing well. No better way than getting on the board first. Quick pass to Burke. Stops a cold. Handles the pass. Great poke check on the reach. Burke's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last ditch attempt to find the pop. Just incredible. The Eagles are across the line and into the offensive end. And that's intercepted by Schultz. Stopped by the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Paré. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. The Firebirds gain possession in their own end. Coachella Valley's got the puck on the wall. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. More than half the period left to play. Colorado's ahead, 1-0. Coachella Valley's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck now. Here they come up along the wing. What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Colorado's won the face-off at center. Quick feed to Tuff. Here's a shot! Whoa! Trigger. The Firebirds are on the attack. Puts it on net. Oh, puts it wide. And oh, you know he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. Press it down, press it 
The Eagles win the draw. Receives the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a shot. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Oh, you see players working on this all the time in practice. That 10,000 shot challenge, it comes into effect here. Pulling that puck into the feet and letting that snapshot go really fools the goaltender. Colorado's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Coachella Valley's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a short pass to Carrick. Coachella Valley's across the blue line. Fires it! Comes up with the stop. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And he takes the feed. The Eagles take it along the wall. Here's a shot! put forth a strong effort throughout this entire game and that's the reason they have the lead they wanted to extend the cushion but unfortunately bad luck on their side or maybe it it was good positioning by the goaltender but nonetheless it goes off the post and out inching closer to the midway mark of the period the eagles are hanging on to this one goal lead they'd love to add another Wrights won the draw here in the defensive zone The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. He got all that hit. Moves it to Foody. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Here in the back half of this period, Colorado's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Bodies won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Moves it quickly over to Melanson. Here we go, odd man rush here. Good check, frees the puck up. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Colorado's on the attack, and he lowers the boom there. And that carries off a body in traffic. Tries to feed it over to Winterton. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Quick pass to Middleton. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Slides the puck across to Foody. Puts to the point. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. Colorado's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. And the shot. The score! And that's back to back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back to back. Here they come. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. The Eagles extend the lead by two here in period number one. Well, I really like their play up to this point in the first period here, James. I mean, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. Quick feed to Flurry. Firebirds gain 
possession. Moves it to Hayden. Slides the puck across to Hughes. Uh oh, -uh, that's blocked away. Colorado's got it in their own zone. The Firebirds have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Paré. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Flurry's got it in the defensive end. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Picked away in the neutral zone. Coachella Valley's got it along the wall. Great save by the goaltender on that one with the stick. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Here in the late going of the frame, the Eagles are up 3-1. The Firebirds win the faceoff. James, that's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the complete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing them the love. Nice poke check. Smallman's on the attack in the offensive zone. Tonight, James, it's hitting the bar. He's got to find a way to cash in, you know, with his hands. At some point, if he gets the opportunity, he's going to put it in. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. 45 seconds to go here. And that goes off course off a of body. 28 seconds to go. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the club. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Colorado's got it in the defensive zone. Picks on the feed. Coachella Valley's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Fans of Portia tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care patients. If you'd like to learn more, please visit. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Colorado's got to find a way to push and continue to press like they did in the first 20 minutes, James. I mean, that was impressive. They executed on their possession and found ways to attack the net. They've got a two-goal lead, but sometimes it's tough to replicate a first period when you're firing on all cylinders. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, what a save in front! Made the stop on the play. The Eagles cross the blue line and are on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. And makes the easy glove save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Lots of time this period. Colorado's got a 3-1 lead. Coachella Valley's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The cross-checking is the call here, and that's going to be the pounder special. Anytime you move your hands away from your body and you get your opponent, you know it's going to be called every single time. The Eagles will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. There's a solid collision. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Scores! And there it is, the power play goal lights the lamp. I love the patience.
conditions of this power play. It's all about puck movement. And when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front. And that's exactly what happens. The goaltender screen, and they find the back of the net. The Eagles are having one of those nights, Cheryl, that everything that can go right is. Yeah, it's all going right, James, because they're doing everything right. They've been dominating play in all three zones, and they've been rewarded for it. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Eagles have been handed two for interference. comes out to go to work. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick pass to Lynn. The Firebirds gain the zone. Quick shot! Scores! And they put the power in power play. While your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage, and the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. The Firebirds finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Uh, you certainly know that you can get back in a game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Tries to get the puck to Kiro. The Firebirds looking against the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because of the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Slides the puck over. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Intercepted. From the left side, they gain the zone. Moves it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Denies him again. Puck scooped up by Tuck. The Eagles will play it through the neutral zone. Slip feed. Wide of the net. Taken along the wall by Tuck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Dishes it to Lynn. Here's the chance on the attack. Oh, he's so good! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck with some gymnastics at its finest. I love it. Yes, these fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet and support of you because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Puck grab by Rinky. The Firebirds have it now. Studenich has crossed the line and gained the zone. Puck battle along the boards. Feeds it over to Ivan. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Shot! He scores! Off the pipe and falls in the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Well, this is a really smart shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Eagles extend the lead, and it's now a three-goal hockey game. And they've been the lesser opponent, James, but they've been opportunistic, and sometimes it's not a reflection of who's playing well on the scoreboard, but, man, they've been able to finish. Collins won the draw at center. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Tringer's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Collins has been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Whites won a big draw on their own end. Moves it quickly over to Melanson. Takes the feed. Back, but 
They're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. The Firebirds desperately needed that, and Cheryl, I know I sound like Captain Obvious on that one. Well, two-goal deficit is certainly better than a three-goal deficit, James. I know I'm Captain Obvious as well there. But finding a way to get it done, there's a lot of time left in this game for them to claw their way back in. It just takes one to reset the sail. And now he moves it quickly to show. Oh, what a stop on the play! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. From Sunday, they get into the attacking area. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. He does that one. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Henman. Takes the feed. Great pressure with the stick. Makes the save with the chopper. Stuffs him again. Let's see what the officials are calling. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trick because you weren't moving your feet. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Shot! Denies him in close! He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Hughes is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken by Middleton. Gets in front of it. Takes the puck behind the net. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? The Eagles win that offensive zone face-off. Here's a blast! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got it. Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow! Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has shown them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Well, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. And off the draw, they win the face-off. Coachella Valley's got the puck against the boards. Here's a chance behind the net. Hayden's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Drifts it, rips it, and that's broken up. Forces the turnover. Quick feed to Carrick. The Firebirds carry it along the wall. Oh, he had the answer on that one. Who's the puck? Well, he's been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Studenich is taking it from his own end. Scooped up along the wall by McKinnon. The Firebirds played along the wing. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Burks moving the puck through his own zone. Club save on the play. Three guards really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. The Firebirds have time to work with, but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second. Seppala stick handling in his own zone. Great reach with the poke check by Hunt. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Here they are on the attack. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. 
Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. The Firebirds seem almost a little frustrated out there as we near the end of the second period. They've had plenty of chances, just cannot convert. Flurry's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Hunt's lugging the puck. The Eagles pick up steam and are on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. Back to the blue line. Makes the save of the slapper. The Firebirds move the puck in the defensive zone. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Here's a shot. put the glove to stop that one. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. With possession along the wall. The Eagles gain control of the puck. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Throws it in. The Firebirds look to start the transition game. Passes the puck over to Henman. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Centering key! And that's stopped! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Firebirds start with the puck in their own end. And now it's to Podorowski. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Studenich. And a good solid hit on that play. He was totally locked in on that play. Cuts into the paint. Oh, and he misses on a great A-plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Denied that one. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Scoops up the puck. Puck leads the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. The Firebirds will play it from the defensive zone. With some open space at center. Here's a short pass to Olsson. Handles the puck. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. And now it's grabbed by Hunt. Handles the pass. Oh, and it stays out. Got a piece of that. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save.
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Coachella Valley's in now. McKinnon's got control of the puck in the corner. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by home. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Coachella Valley's got the puck. The Firebirds will play it in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Now he takes it over the line. Tosses it on to Studenich. The Firebirds take it across the blue line. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Coachella Valley's looking to break out. Hayden's got it along the wing. Chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Receives the pass. Coachella Valley's got the puck along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. The Firebirds have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. The Eagles win the defensive zone faceoff. Pass to Paré. Great pass from off the right side. Break away, and he comes up with a stop there. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Coachella Valley's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Scores! Perfectly positioned to bury the rebound. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Coachella Valley's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Moves it to tough. Puck dumped in. The Firebirds scoop it up along the boards. Now a quick pass to Reiki. And he takes the feed. Big time saving goal as he gets all along with the stick. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Puck picked up by Kiro. Trager's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Colorado's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Denies him! Krieger's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point blank save. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. And he's knocked off the puck there. And he slides it quickly to Tuff. The Eagles continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. We've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. And he denied him there. The Eagles move it in. And that's broken up. Works it across to right. And it's a quick... Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. And a solid stop on the play there. Into the 
corner of the attacking area. Picked up along the wall by Middleton. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Colorado's got the puck in the corner. Coachella Valley's got it in their own zone. Feeds it to McKinnon. Puck scooped up by Studenich. Middleton's got it in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Carrick. Grabbed along the board by Parade. Continue with the pressure, be relentless and try and get another one. We gotta give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. Colorado's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Some good stick work to force that turnover. The Eagles have it now. And he takes the feed. Coachella Valley's got possession at center. Puck grab by Perez. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And he takes the dish. Holland's been buzzing out there, James, tonight. And he already has a goal. This is a blowout game. A time to pad the stats. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Takes the shot. Fantastic save. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive, and he wins the battle. And that's knocked away by Hayden. Big time stop. The Firebirds need to find a way to break on through here. They've had plenty of shots on net, but they've got to convert here in order to even things up. Coachella Valley's got the puck now. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. And that's taken away. Quick pass to Olsen. And that's deflected off someone in front. Continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. The Firebirds have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Slides it over with pace to McKinnon. Middleton's got it in the defensive end. The Firebirds get a hold of the puck under man. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Here's a pass to the middle. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And now it's over to Burke. And he slides it quickly to Middleton. And he can't hang on after that hit. Quick feed to Ivan. And that's just out of reach. And the puck clears the zone. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable. And certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. The centermen glide into position.
approaching the final minute of regulation. That's a good one. Colorado's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he easily stops that one. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. The Firebirds need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Takes possession off the draw. Lynn's taking it from his own end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And that's poked away. And that doesn't reach the net. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now.